welcome back to my channel. My name is Chris. You've reached Chris Loves Lux. And today we are going to review one of the last foundations that I purchased in a haul. So I, I, we, we've been going through a lot of foundations the last few weeks. This one here I got from Self Ridges, which is the La Mer, the Soft Moisture Powder Foundation with the SPF of 30. We're going to get into this, right? Because I don't really do powder foundations like that. The Fenty one changed my life, right? Um, I'm a liquid foundation girl. I told you that, right? So, but the Fenty one, you know. So I said, you know what? Let me let me get my powder foundation game back up. Let me see if my tastes have changed, my application has evolved, and um, perhaps my makeup skills are just better that I might enjoy a, a powder foundation. So I got the La Mer. So in the shade 53 bronze. So what we're going to do now is go into that. Let's see how I achieve this look. But before we do, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Click the notification bell so that you're always notified. And head over to IG and follow me at Chris Loves Lux. Now that I've said the PSA statement for today, let's get into the video. Hey y'all. Okay, I'm back with another foundation, first impression. Um, I'm not gonna do a wear test because I'm not gonna be able to check in or anything like that because it's gonna be crazy busy today. I'm about to go pick up an order from Nordstrom's. Then my daughter has a game. I'm off um, for the majority of this week. So I've been filming and filming and filming and filming. And um, yeah, so I'm just not gonna have time. So we are gonna, Remember, I, I, I don't know if you guys remember, you get in a reflection from my um, organizers, but I hauled this from Self Ridges. Um, this is the La Mia, the Soft Moisture Powder Foundation SPF 30. Came in this box right here. Um, haven't seen that many reviews on it, but you guys know, this is Bay. This right here is my baby. Um, I use, I don't even use her as much because we're not going in the office as soon as, well, no, it wasn't, quarantine was already in effect, but I thought we would be back in the office by now. So I've been, I was kind of saving it and saving it. Now I'm just going to be using it all the time because this is Bay. This is Bay. This is the La Mer Soft Fluid with um, Long Wear Foundation in the color 450 Sepia. She is my number one. Okay? I don't know if there's ever going to be anything to take her down off of her, 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 her throne of being number one. But I'm hoping that this is a powder version where I can throw this in my bag if I'm ever going anywhere overnight when, you know, outside opens back up. And I want to just throw something in. But we're going to see. This is actually in the color 53 bronze. There it is right there. And we're going to see if this works out for me. We're going to see it does it give a nice finish to my skin. All right, I'm going to use a dense powder brush. A uh, dense uh, foundation brush. I'm not going to use this little spongy thing. We're just going to keep this right here. First, let me swatch it for you because I already swatched it on my own. But let's see. So it looks a little light on my hand, but understand my hand is darker than my face and neck. So let's see how this goes. So it picks up a lot of product. I'm not going to tap it off anything. Okay, let's get a good look. Foundation free. I do have primer on, but that's it. Let's see how this works.
only covering this half of my face. Let's see what kind of difference you see. I'm going to be honest, y'all. The color is fine. But other than it mattifying my face somewhat, I don't see a difference. You know, um, there is no coverage. Literally, all it does is mattify. That's really all it does. It's not like it does anything else to my skin. You know, for somebody like myself that doesn't have that much hyperpigmentation or really any other than my, my moles, right? I don't really have um, a lot of blemishes. I have stuff going on right here. I always do. You can see it all right here. I always have something going on here. I don't know why. It's like here always. Might be because my wig hangs in my face. Who knows? But when you look at this side and you look at this side, it's not that much of a difference that I see, to be quite honest. It's not like when I put my Fenty powder on, I can see, see a difference. So I'm going to put it on the rest of my face. I'm gonna be honest y'all it's not doing anything for me I mean it's really and truly not it's not doing much of anything I think this would be better as a kind of a setting powder over my La Mer. this is this is not doing really anything you know at all look at it it's nothing It's, it's, even on a no makeup makeup look day, this is still not doing anything. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take it off with a makeup wipe. I'm going to reapply my primer. I'm going to put my La Mer Soft Fluid on and then put this over it. I'll be back. Okay, y'all. I was about to start putting the foundation on without pressing record. So this is my soft fluid. Now that's a beautiful finish. I'm not gonna put that much on. You see the ease of that blend? baby right here mm -hmm. now that's what I'm talking about this is beautiful this is absolutely beautiful finish but y'all already know because you guys most of you guys you already know about this foundation now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna use a fluffy powder brush and let's see how this powder foundation plays over it. Okay. So now what we'll do is I will take my La Mer brush, my La Mer powder brush. 
edges. We'll go in it and I'll use it to set one side. Yes, 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 and yes. So this is no powder. This is me taking the Soft Moisture Powder Foundation over my soft, soft Fluid on this side. Do you see that blur? Now we're talking. Do y'all see the difference? y'all see come on now come for the skin do you guys see how my skin looks baby yes I'm always dropping some I know y'all that was my mirror but anyway do y'all see it? Look at these tired eyes. We about to we about to fix the eyes, y'all. We gonna fix the eyes. First, I'm gonna color correct. Then I'm gonna go in with my concealer and everything. I'm gonna be back because you guys don't need to see that part. But look at this. Okay, I'm gonna do the rest of my face together and I'll be back. Everybody, I'm back and here is the final look. What do you think? So let's remember. It did not work on its own. This baby here, it really didn't do anything but get rid of my shine. It didn't make it give you give me zero coverage for the most part. It blurred slightly, but again, it didn't give me the you know the little bit of coverage that I do need. It didn't give me right on its own. However, let me pull it back out. When I took Bay, the La Mer Soft Fluid Foundation first, and then set with this I'm in love with the combination y'all look at that skin look yes yes now you will may question Christine do you want I think this was hundred and twelve dollars at Selfridges it was hundred and twelve dollars I don't know what it is and if you get it from the La Mer site probably like 125 um, this is 125 right so get this first but if you wanted something that would pair perfectly with this, I this is going to be my combination from now on, right? Normally when I use this, I'll use one of my, like my La Prairie um, uh, powder or something. No, but this right here and this together, this and this, this is a winner. Look at that. I can't stop staring at myself. It took me forever to finish my makeup. I kept saying, ooh, child. These two together are rocking. If you don't mind spending the 250 combined that it would be, right? But this this right here is the perfect complexion. For me, this is a banger together. If you want to just use this, you're not going to get anything out of this. I'm eager to see how this pairs with my other foundations as well because it may just make a lot most of my foundations blurred to perfection. But this one with this one Highly recommend it. Highly recommend it. But again, don't do this alone as a foundation. It is not going to give you what you need, in my opinion. Let me know in the comments what your thoughts are about the final look. What are your thoughts about the complexion? Because for me, it is just a winner. It is truly, truly, truly a winner. Okay? With all that being said, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Become a part of the family. Don't forget to click that notification bell. And even if you're already subscribed, check the notification bell just to make sure it's clicked. Head over to IG and follow me at Chris Loves Lux. Then I want everyone to please, please, please stay safe, stay healthy, and stay tuned. I'm going to see you in the next video. Bye, guys.